What's up guys, it's me SG, what is going on? Guys I've got a solo money and XP method for you today. Guys this is not a glitch, this is a method and in my opinion it is an amazing method. Guys with this video we are going to be getting collectibles and I don't need to, to really pinpoint any collectibles where they are because we have the maps for that. But well, guys, it's um, this is all I've well, it's not all I've been doing, but I've been doing this so much. I have nearly 80 collectibles, and I have not sold one since I started the new Red Dead Online update. And you can make it's it's crazy the amount of money you can actually make from doing the collector role. And obviously, by doing this, guys, you're gonna you know you're getting money, very very good money. And you're also getting very good XP because you get good XP every time you collect one collectible. So it's a win-win situation for me, you know, you're getting money and XP. And at the end of the video guys, I will show you all of my collectibles. I'm going to go to Madame Nazar and I'm going to show you all my collectibles that I have and how much money you can actually make just doing this. Guys, um, I would advise you having the shovel because a lot of the collectibles you need to dig so you will you know you will need the shovel if if you haven't got a shovel you can just move on to the next collectible that, that you come across and just you know do the other ones pick flowers get the uh, heirlooms from buildings you know you can still do it but I'm using the shovel and also I'm using the metal detector the metal detector makes it ten times easier because what I do guys is I roam around here in the Heartlands or New Austin, you can do it anywhere. I roam around on my horse and what I do, every few seconds I'm roaming around, every few seconds I'll click my two analog sticks in to go into hunting vision and being in hunting vision that will highlight a collectible near you as long as it is near you. But also while I'm riding around on my horse guys I will also be holding my metal detector so not only when I click my analog sticks in I will see a collectible because it shines like no tomorrow we know when there's a collectible in hunter in hunter vision but on top of that I'm also I also have the metal detector out so you know it's a win-win situation I'll either see the visible collectible in hunting vision by clicking the two analog sticks in or my metal detector will start vibrating when my metal detector starts vibrating that means there's a collectible close by and all you have to do is roam around in that in that area that your metal detector is basically blinking at when you get start to get closer to that collectible your metal detector will go crazy and when it goes absolutely crazy and your vib and your controller starts to vibrate that means you're very close look as you can see here guys look at my metal detector i'm getting closer and it's just absolutely going nuts there you go and it, it the light completely stays on when you're at the collector wall it seemed a bit tricky for me at first learning the metal detector but now i, I do it like it's nothing i'm finding collectibles probably every five to ten minutes and guys on top of that I do this while I'm doing bounty missions working for the trader doing anything in the game I'm constantly on my horse clicking my two analog sticks in as well as holding the metal detector in my hand so I'm forever getting collectibles every five minutes sometimes I collect three collectibles every five minutes when you you know and that just depends where you are on the map pretty much if you are close to collectibles but Guys, just do that method, it is amazing. I can't actually believe how good it actually is when I started really doing it. And I do it out of habit now. I've always got my metal detector out. I'm always in hunting vision every few seconds. And I'm always collecting. But guys, as you can see by this, look at this. I've not sold one since I started Red Dead Online update. Look at that, look at the money. If you look at the bottom right, guys, it says sell all on a lot of them, $29. Some of them are $65 for just three or four of them. And the collectibles that says you know I've got three or four they're just doubles 
but having doubles is the best because you're going to get so much more money from it but guys you do the math you add up every collectible I have here that's that is a ton of money and I'm still collecting right now I'm not even selling any of these I'm going to try and go crazy collect as many as I can and just sell all at once I might even do a video on it when I have you know some more collectibles and then add it up and see what I actually get but as we can see from the gameplay it is a ton of money and I would highly recommend anyone watching this get onto this the collector roll is amazing and you get XP for every collectible you collect so you're winning either way and again do it while you're doing bounty hunting and trader guys drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you are new don't forget to hit the bell I'm SG and I'll see you in the next video